Hi, this is Ed from Exotic Blanks welcoming you to another edition of Turning Tips. Today we're going to do a circuit board pen from the circuit board that is widely available uh, from us, of course, and also from others. It does not show as many of the components. Actually, this has got very, I don't think it's got any components on it. But it's low profile, so you can make the pen without having to worry about running into anything. As you can see, it starts out as a square piece. As you can tell, it's a little bit chippy. And as you can also tell, we're hitting all the corners and it's making some noise as we hit the corners. Uh, this is kind of a uh, take it down from both edges or both ends, just as I usually do. Uh, but you will hear more chipping noises and you will see that um, the material is chipping while I'm continuing to cut. As long as it's still got its corners on it, I really don't care what it looks like. You can see here I stopped it and you can see it's it's been chipping out. Uh, it doesn't bother me in the slightest because this is not the part that's going to be the pen. This is just the part that we're getting ready to be a pen. So doesn't matter when it chips out. Just keep on trying to get ribbons, which, as you can see, I am doing. But at the same time, I'm also leaving some divots as I go through there. Uh, that's immaterial. Stuff that's on the floor nobody ever sees. When I'm turning this, um, I'm not a proponent of the theory of scary sharp. Um, I think that the tool should be sharp, absolutely. But if you take a very, very sharp tool with a very new edge on it, it seems to just go into it and create more of the uh, chipping out. So I like to uh, use the tool to do the four-corner removal, and that takes off any of the... Um, edge that it might have that would catch and from there on I use that same tool to make the rest of the pen. Uh, as you can see this is not difficult but I am a little more careful with this than I am with most materials because it is willing to chip on you. Um, this particular one took seven minutes in total. I'm going to edit this uh, film so that you don't have to sit here for seven minutes watching me turn. Uh, but that's what it comes down to. You see that it's um, just coming off in ribbons, and you try to continue to get that to happen. Um, it's not difficult, but it does require a little bit of a light touch. I want to talk a little bit about sanding, since I hear some people giving advice about it. Um, if we start with 400 grit, which is what I do, you can see that it gets white in various areas and it's nice and shiny in between and kind of strips. Those shiny strips are not good. That means that that's an area that you've not touched with the sandpaper. So you continue to go back and forth with the sandpaper and in this case it's 400 grit. I can tell because I use one inch wide 400 and inch and a half wide 600 so I know which one's which. Uh, then once you've got it uniformly white, then you come back with your 600 and you can see that I no longer have stripes forming. Uh, it pretty much just does its thing and makes it for a nice finish. So if you go from 400 to 600, and on this one we're not going to buff it, we're going to continue and show how to use uh, Novus uh, 3 and Novus 2. It's my intention to apply a little bit to the top of the turning blank while I have the paper towel underneath. Unfortunately, my attention didn't work out well. I put more on there than you really should. But as you can see, it just turns and, and it works its way into the blank and does a really good job of scratch removal. So what we're doing here is taking off all the deeper, tougher scratches. Now remember, our last uh, grit was 600 grit, so they're not very deep scratches, but they are scratches that are visible to the eye. <clears throat> Instead, we're replacing it with uh, scratches that are so fine that you can't see them. 
So after we're done with the Novus 3, you can see that it's a pretty good looking blank, but nonetheless we move on to the Novus 2, which is kind of a gray color. And again, I put some on the rag, and this time I decided it would be better to put it on the rag rather than take a chance of splurging it all over. And again, turn on the lathe, and we're running the lathe at a relatively low RPM, probably 700, 800 RPM. Um, and then you just go back and forth with the Novus, and that will do a fine job of removing the scratches that were left by the three polish. So all in all, it's just a remove the scratches that were left from the last step, and before you know it, you have a very nice looking blank. That's all there is to it. As you can see, you make a pretty nice looking pen, even without a buffing system. Uh, here's a close-up of it so that you can see the um, detail of the circuit board. Uh, the red circuit board looks pretty good on the uh, Bria Sierra stun Stylus, which is in a gunmetal finish. I thank you for watching. This is Ed from Exotic Blanks. Bye now, and good turning to you.